of second reading of Bill 71, an act to conserve the Periscope Moraine by providing for the Periscope Moraine Conservation Plan. Mr. Schreiner has moved second reading of Bill 71, an act to conserve the Paris Gulp Moraine by providing for the Paris Gulp Moraine Conservation Plan. Pursuant to Standing Order 98, the member has 12 minutes for his presentation. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an honour today to rise to put forward Bill 71, the Paris Gulp Moraine Conservation Act, the first bill ever introduced by a Green MPP in the history of the Ontario Legislature. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to thank thank you. I'd like to thank the many water protectors in the room today to support this bill, uh, including those who worked on the Oak Ridge's Moraine Conservation Plan. I stand in defense of something that is so easy to take for granted: water. I truly believe that government has a sacred responsibility to protect water for present and future generations, for our children and our grandchildren. We're all too familiar with the troubling statistics. By 2025, half of the world's population will be living in water-stressed areas. One-third of the world's largest groundwater systems are in danger of drying out. The water crisis hits public consciousness when we hear places like Cape Town literally running out of water. Order. In Ontario, we are lucky to have abundant freshwater resources, but we need to take care of them. If we don't make efforts to protect and conserve the regular water restrictions we see in the summer in communities like mine in Guelph could become the new norm in this province. You know, Madam Speaker, it's all too easy for environmental or public health issues to fade away as the next crisis or scandal enters the new cycle. But we cannot delay action in protecting water until it is too late, because water is life. We do not have food production without water. We do not have jobs or prosperity without water. We do not have healthy communities or a functioning economy without water. We need to ask ourselves, what is the future of water in this province, in this country? Because the current course is not sustainable. Madam Speaker, Guelph has been an example of what water stewardship looks like. Guelph has decoupled water um, use from population growth showing that conservation works, but it's still not enough to make up for development pressures, climate change, and population growth. The Paris Gulf Moraine, which cleans and filters our water at no cost, is facing threats that are undermining its ecological integrity. Community groups, the city of Guelph itself, and researchers have sounded the alarm. Just like people did 20 years ago when pressure mounted to protect the Oak Ridge's moraine north of Toronto. In fact, Bill 71 is modeled after the Oak Ridge's Moraine Conservation Act, which was passed by a progressive conservative government with. <laughs> Order. With unanimous support from all parties in the legislature in 2001. I hope we can achieve the same with all four parties in the legislature today. I'd like to quote former Premier Ernie Eves when the Oak Ridge's Marine Conservation Order. Plan came into effect. The Premier of the day said, preserving the Oak Ridge's Moraine is part of this government's proud commitment to smart growth. Our long-term strategy to promote vibrant communities a strong economy, and a clean, healthy environment for the people of Ontario. I believe that applies to the Paris Gulf Moraine. You know, Madam Speaker, partisanship can run um, high in this House at times and can be quite intense, but I think there are certain issues that we can set partisanship aside. I think it's important to recognize when a government of another party does the right thing. But I also want to note that the legislation to protect the Oak Ridge's moraine was tabled three times before the final act passed in 2001. And I'm not sure how often
this happens, but new Democrats, Liberals, and progressive conservative members all took turns tabling it. And we all know that it can take years for good environmental legislation to become reality. But if the Oak Ridge's Moraine was any indication, collectively, this House will realize the value of protecting the Paris Galt Moraine sooner or later. And I'm asking my colleagues to choose sooner. Madam Speaker, I'm proud to say that I've consulted with MPPs from each party in this House, with farmers and First Nations, with municipal leaders and water experts in drafting this bill. And regardless of how the vote goes today, I want to thank the Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks for taking the time to meet with me twice while drafting this bill. I want to thank the many members who gave me feedback and advice. I see the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services who took the time to talk with me on a very busy day for both of us. I especially want to acknowledge the members from Brantford Brant, Haldeman Norfolk, and Kitchener Conestoga who met with me to give me advice and feedback that I incorporated in the drafting of this bill. I want to thank the members from Ottawa South and Ottawa Vanier who provided uh, procedural advice on how to move this bill forward. I want to thank the members from Toronto Danforth, Kingston and the Islands, and Waterloo for reaching out to me to talk about the importance of protecting water. I want to thank the thousands of people in my constituency and across the province who have emailed their MPPs, spread the word on social media, and signed a petition calling for protections for the Paris Gulf Moraine. I want to talk a bit about why people support this bill and what they are saying about this bill. I want to com quote community groups like Wellington Water Watchers who wrote, we need stronger provincial protection to ensure that growth pressures, drought, and climate change do not endanger water supplies in the future. I'd like to quote Guelph City Councilor Louis-Anne Piper, who tweeted out yesterday, no recharge equals no drinking water. No protection equals no discharge. It's that simple. I'd like to quote Victor Doyle, who worked on the original Oak Ridge's Moraine legislation, who wrote me, quote, protection via legislation, policy, and regulation is well recognized as the most effective and important means of improving the management of our groundwater resource, which is fundamental to environmental, economic, and human health. Or Peter Krauss, former chair of the Grand River Conservation Authority in Conservation Ontario, who wrote me, I believe that the protection of groundwater transcends all political boundaries and should be an essential practice for safeguarding our drinking water supplies. I want to acknowledge the many water protectors who've been inspired by the life and legacy of Ojibwe elder grandmother Josephine Madaman who passed away recently on February 22nd. She started the Water Walk movement in Ontario in 2003 and has walked over 23,000 kilometers in this province to inspire action to protect water. Bill 71 is an important step to protect the water our children and grandchildren will need. To protect the water for a region that is expected to grow to one million people in the next two decades. To protect the water that farmers in the $40 billion food and farming sector need to grow the food that sustains us. To provide flood protection at a time when extreme weather events caused $1.2 billion in insurable losses in our province last year alone. Moraines provide a vital service filtering our water naturally for free. Moraines help absorb excess water naturally and reduce the threats posed by flooding. Protecting our moraines, in my opinion, is a fiscally responsible approach that will save the province millions in water and stormwater infrastructure. I want to be clear, Madam Speaker, that this bill does not prevent growth or development or jobs or business investment. It's about creating the best conditions for responsible, sustainable development. While protecting the moraine 
and it's the ecological services it provides to us free of charge. Good businesses know that if clean water is lost, we all suffer. Bill 71 is good for people who live in the Grand River watershed when they turn on the tap and drink water that is filtered by the Paris Gulf Moraine. Bill 71 is good for local businesses and for farmers who depend on clean water to create jobs and prosperity. But most importantly, this bill is good for our children, our grandchildren, and future generations whose futures depend on the decisions we make today. Madam Speaker, World Water Day is coming up on March 22nd. And how great would it be if we could celebrate that day with the passing of the Paris Gulf Marine Conservation Act? And so, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank the people who are here today in the galleries and the people all across Ontario who have taken the time out of their day, away from their work day, to stand up and speak out in support of protecting water. I want to thank the members of Six Nations who are here with us yesterday talking about the issues they face in their community and the importance of protecting water in the Grand River watershed. And finally, I want to thank my colleagues who have provided the feedback that I've incorporated into this legislation. And today, we can come together to put water first and support Bill 71. Thank you, Madam Speaker.